In the 1940s, a computer took up an entire room, and it could take hours to solve a simple math problem. Today, computers are everywhere, from the smartwatch on your wrist to the electronic networks built into cars. And the computing power of those massive machines from decades ago is a tiny fraction of what the smartphone in your pocket can do. Whereas earlier computers were calculators that worked only with numbers, today we can use computers for any number of complex tasks, from communicating with each other to playing video games. But what defines a computer? What makes a computer different from other machines? And how does a computer work? Humans have always created tools that make our lives easier. The windmill let us convert wind power into rotational energy. The steam locomotive let us haul goods and passengers across continents. And the printing press let us spread ideas across the globe. And a computer is another type of tool. Like all tools, the computer helps us solve problems. But while earlier tools helped us solve problems by manipulating physical things and doing manual work, computers help us solve information problems by doing thinking work. Those information problems could involve anything from scanning massive databases and solving complicated equations to tracking the movement of distant planets. The computer's inventors recognized the need for machines that could manipulate information through four crucial tasks. First, a computer needs to receive input. Input is how we tell a computer what we want it to do. This information can come from a keyboard, mouse, microphone, or touchscreen. But there are many other types of input that are less obvious. If you wear a smartwatch that monitors your heart rate, your pulse is a source of input. The computer in a self-driving car receives input from the streets it navigates. Regardless of the type of input, the computer is receiving information that needs to be stored as data in its memory. After the data has been stored, a computer processes it through a series of commands called an algorithm. Once processed, this information goes back into the computer's storage. After the computer is done processing the information, it's ready for output. The type of output we see will depend on that particular computer's purpose. For example, Computers can be designed to output information as text, photos, or videos. But output can also take the shape of interactive games, virtual reality, or signals that control a robot's actions. And when computers are connected to each other, the output of information from one becomes the input of information to another. All computers can perform these four essential tasks. You could say they're the functions that make a machine a computer. Just as computers of today look drastically different from their predecessors, computers of the future will look different from the ones we use in nearly every aspect of our lives today. But no matter what shape they take, you can be certain they'll help us solve problems by receiving, storing, processing, and outputting information.